What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and we've got another legendary collection Kaiba to open up and pull that super sweet Ash Blossom because that's that's what's gonna happen on this one. So um, this is an unlimited box and you could tell by the UPC. So we'll crack it open because I'm gonna keep the first dead boxes sealed at least for now. Um, I only have a few, I didn't like order cases of them because that's kind of silly since Konami reprints the shit out of everything that is popular. Investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a really risky business. I would never recommend anyone do it. People are, are often asking me for investing advice on you know Instagram or sometimes here on YouTube. And I try to tell them don't don't invest in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not Yu-Gi-Oh! is not an investment. If you happen to buy things and they become valuable later on, more way more valuable than you purchased them for, good for you. That's that's luck. You you can't, I'm not saying you can't predict it, but it's very difficult to predict. Um, if I knew that prices would be what they're like now, I, I would have purchased as many first edition Legend of Blue Eyes boxes as I could back in 2010 when they were 190 to $200 because now they're, you know, three or 4,000. You just never know when stuff's going to uh, peak or sorry, spike in value or peak and then start going down. Um, keep in mind, as soon as, you know, another recession hits the economy, uh, the first thing people let go of is collectibles and hobbies. So that stuff just, everything's driven by demand. Um, supply is important too, but demand is the most important part of collectibles. And uh, when demand goes down, so is price. All right, so enough with the negative stuff. Let's open this Legendary Collection Kaiba. And this is like my 10th Maiden of uh, with Eyes of Blue. I seem to pull this every time. Dark Arm Dragon, that's nice. I'll take that. And then we got a white head dragon, a tyrant wing, pretty cool, really shiny. Heavy mech support platform, ring of defense. I don't know why they felt like that was necessary. I mean, it's, I know Kaiba used it, but I don't know, whatever. Didi Crow, nice, that's a good one. That's, so this is technically a hand trap. Um, it's not always, in the discussion of hand traps, but it's actually a pretty good one, and a lot of people um, side deck it, so it's it's a good card. Thunder Dragon, that's nice, and then Dragon Spirit of White, that's good, and Dragon Ravine, also very good. So that was a really good pack. We uh, we did pretty well with that pack. I'm happy with it. Pretty cool. You got a little Thunder Dragon action. Not too bad. Okay, so next pack. What will we get? The Flute of Summoning Dragon. Nice. Majesty with Eyes of Blue. I, I might have pulled this before, but I don't think I have. That is really... If I've pulled this before, I haven't noticed how cool it looks and how great that artwork is. Uh, especially with the, that super secret rare foil. Man, that looks nice. Very cool. Hey, all right, let's do this. Come on. Mika... Mika Zukinoyaiba. Yeah, that guy. That guy with the crazy screwed up name. Blue Eyes White Dragon, why not? Um, that's probably my least favorite, the one with the tablet. I like the one with the earth better than this one. Um, but none of them are really my favorite. Mirror Force Dragon, that's sadly got too many reprints already. Brighter of the Storm Winds. And a Judge Man, look at that. I haven't pulled that yet. That's cool, Judge Man. Shrink, Burst Stream of Destruction, and the Melody of Awakening Dragon. That's not bad. So, decent pack, not too bad. And the final pack, what are we gonna get? I think we're gonna get a lock in. It's one of the Ultras, feeling it. We're getting all these old nostalgic Ultras. You know, we got a Thunder Dragon, we got Mika Yaiba guy and um, from TP2, and we got the uh, Judge Man. So, let's see, we got Nature on Blast here. Sea Crush Wyvern. Well, we got a Kaiba Man. That's, I would assume that's pretty standard for a uh, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Mausoleum of White. Monarchs Storm Forth. Ooh, we got Ash Blossom. Whoa, I said we were gonna get it. Of course, I think I say that every time I open this, so that doesn't really count, but um, sick. That's cool. I mean, this is the only card that's worth more than what these cost. So very cool. 
Um, I'll probably be selling this pretty much right away because I don't have any use for it. And uh, it's only gonna either get limited, banned, whatever, or reprinted like six more times. So may as well get rid of them. Z-Metal Tank, uh, W-Wing Catapult. Then we got the White Stone Animations and Interdimensional Matter Transporter. So that was nice. That was a great Legendary Collection Kaiba. Doesn't really get better than that one. Uh, we got the Ash Blossom. And we got some other good stuff too. We got, let's see, um, the Melody Judge Man. It's just the sweetest thing ever. Uh, blue Eyes, because you can't open this without Blue Eyes. Um, Thunder Dragon's nice. They got support coming out soon. Uh, Dragon Ravine, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's really worth anything, but it's a good card. Uh, DD Crow, pretty nice there. And uh, Dark Arm Dragon, always love pulling that. So. This was great. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.